Hi, I'm Dr. Gabby Cora and welcome to my show, Dr. Gabby's Take, Make Life Interesting. I think the interesting thing that you're alluding to and, and which I've really learned because I, I think that we both learn from one another I think that's a wonderful thing is is about is is how important it is to be completely aligned if, if our head is thinking certain things and it's going that route and our body is into action that route and our emotion is confused or somewhere in between and we're like all over the place we're not going to have a great experience. And if we're not having a great experience, we're not going to be able to enable that great experience to other people. So what you're really talking about is, is how you can see that that alignment in a way where, yeah, you know, the thinking, the actions is there, but the, the emotion is there too. Like you're really honoring who you truly are in a way you're allowing yourself to feel. And that's the only way that you can really be that true uh, being and and that's where I think a, a lot of those myths come about. Even in my office, as, as a psychiatrist or as a coach, people usually struggle. People who've been very successful uh, somewhat have this problem. You know, their their actions and their thinking go that route, and their emotions go that route. And that's uh, that's a lot of what happens in in a simple way of explaining it of of that lack of alignment. And we do the the interesting thing here is I feel that we both do. Of very similar things from different points of view, yes. but our intention is very similar. And I yes. think that that's what's interesting in, in demystifying this. What you and I met um, at uh, Brian Weiss's uh, um, scheduled uh, training in, in order to do past life regression therapy for different reasons we met there uh, and just uh, sharing with the world a bit in, in Jamie's case, she was probably completely aligned of why to go there. I was reluctantly going there after one of my patients asked me to do this therapy to her, and I resisted it. I didn't want to do it. I felt that someone else who knew about it and who was really interested in it should do it. <laughs> um, so, so, but the interesting thing is, though, that uh, because I really wanted to help my patient, I wanted to help other patients. I reluctantly went to uh, to to learn about this. So, so the, the what is interesting is whether reluctant or whether uh, you know coming in with grace. Let's put it that way. Um, I think the interesting thing is that to to realize that there's different people that can help. Uh, the it's important for us to really feel that someone is honorably trying to but help. It was a different time with Brian Weiss, for example, who was in the pinnacle of his uh, of his career very orthodox career and and the whole community of my fellow colleagues um did not accept him uh, openly although they would come privately uh to see him <laughs> in, in in this hypocritical world so the, the i think that what's interesting in in this time is that it probably allows us more to be ourselves do you jamie do you feel that you are yourself do you feel that you can Put, bring yourself together in the with the best of intentions and offer to the world what you're doing these days. Yes. I'm so happy to say that out loud. Yes. Yes. I actually was having a play date. I have two kids and we were up the street and my neighbor's mother was there. And the kids were playing and, you know, kids fall down and they scrape and scream and this. And, and I'm watching and, you know, just attentive but not hovering. And that mother looked at me and she goes, how do you do it? How are you always like this? And I just kind of cut my eyes over to her and I said, well, maybe I just don't care. And she goes, that's definitely not it. And I said, okay, I'll tell you what it is. And she goes, okay. And I said, it's because I love so much that I will let people be who they are. And she just kind of leaned back and looked at me. She goes, you can do that? I said, yeah. She goes, okay. And that was the end of the conversation. But I, I was so taken back that the conversation was way out of context. You know, it, it didn't require it to be there with the kids yelling and screaming and stuff. But 
she had been watching me for so long and just wanted to know why was I so calm? Why was I so centered? Why could I be this person consistently when she saw me? And she just had to ask. And I, I thought I could get away with the, yeah, it's probably because I just don't care. And she just wouldn't let me get away with that. Because she knew you did. <laughs> she knew I did. And when it came out of my mouth, I thought, that's it. That's it. That's who I am. That's who I want to be. And I've done it. And so I just sat and smiled, I think, for the rest of the play date. And came home and I was like telling my husband, I was like, I've done it. I like me. I like this. He was like, yay! <laughs> well, Jamie, thank you so much for being yourself. Thank you. And for helping people be themselves, too. Well, thank you for letting me remotely come in. <laughs> Thanks for watching my show. And let's think about two or three things that could help us make life interesting. The first thing that we heard today was about working through our senses. So are you still someone who needs to see to believe, who needs to touch to make sure that it's real, and who needs to hear to make sure with your own ears that that is for real? Or are you someone who's willing to go a little bit of that extra step and try to look into things with your own eyes wide open? That's the first thing to think about. The second one is look into how you make judgment all the time right or wrong, uh, good or bad, white or black? Is there any way in which you could come together and, and draw some midpoints there where things don't need to be drastically all good or all bad? So that's the second point that I want you to think about. The third one is look into your belief system. Were, were these uh, brought to you while you were growing up or did you come up with these on your own? Uh, are these uh, carved on stone or do you feel open about hearing or learning about some additional experiences? Last but not least, see how well aligned you are. Make sure that your mind is speaking to your heart and it's speaking through your actions and your words and that you're a whole person and not just operating here and there and not really feeling whole all or together. So these are just some lessons learned to make life interesting and think about them, ponder about them, and make sure that you can bring in some nice, great experiences that will continue to help you make life interesting. Thank you for joining me and hope you enjoyed.